Hi everyone, just wanted to pop on and say hello and have a great start to this week with all of you. I'm getting some weird lighting happening. Okay, yay! Anyway, so just wanted to share um, a little thought I had today, which was if you don't feel like it, don't do it. Um, and I know that sounds like trite and simple and kind of silly because of course we all have to do things that we don't want to do in life and things like paying taxes and doing annoying admin stuff and car insurance and like the silly tasks of life that we all kind of have to do. And um, I just wanted to share that in work and business and life in general, um, if you don't feel like doing something in that moment, don't force yourself to do it. Just wait for the energy and inspiration to come because it will. And I was just thinking, you know, last week I was going through a really tough week. I felt like it was just really hard to get anything going or moving or to gain some momentum or creative energy. And I just felt like everything was like, unknown and unclear and strange and I didn't have any clarity and I was questioning everything and I was talking to the women in my Freedom is Sexy program about this last week and many of them were actually in the same boat and what's beautiful about being a woman and being a woman in business is that we can actually design our lifestyles in a way that suits us and serves us because we're naturally moving in cycles and rhythms every single month, it means that there's enough time and there is a specific time and for everything to happen and there's a perfect time for everything to happen and instead of forcing it in the moments when it just doesn't feel right or it feels like we'd have to force ourselves to do something, we can just not force ourselves and trust that there will be a time when you actually do feel naturally inspired to do whatever it is, even if it's clean the house or something you don't really want to do. As women, we go through these cycles every single month. We go through our moon cycle, but each phase of that specific cycle is actually priming us mentally, physically, emotionally, in every way to be able and prepared to do different types of tasks. And so if we schedule out our life and the things that we have to do, at the right times every month, we actually are able to feel like we want to do those things when we have them scheduled instead of trying to force ourselves to do stuff we really don't want to do and really don't feel like doing in the times when we really don't feel like doing it. So there's a way that we can use our energy and direct our energy that's powerful and intentional and purposeful and actually fun and that makes those tasks that we normally don't feel like doing things that we're actually naturally inspired to do instead of things we have to do that feel like drudgery or obligation and we just have to force ourselves to do it because it's just life and you need to suck it up. And I don't really believe in that because there are going to be perfect. It's just like nature, right? Nature has cycles and rhythms and each season things happen in nature that couldn't happen in another season and it needs to be that way so that in the next season, when we begin that phase of the year, we're able to start with the foundation we need to build on. And so, you know, when we are in this phase of, you know, menstruation or whatever in our moon cycles, we actually are, like I last week, a lot of the women in my program were because it was the full moon and, you know, if we're aligned, that's good stuff. But anyway, so, all of these things relate, all these things correlate, and there is a perfect time for everything. And if we don't recognize that our own bodies and our own minds and systems are going through these cycles every month, we miss the opportunity to feel naturally inspired to do what it is we're doing um, because we try to do things at the wrong time for us that it, we're not really primed to do them. So it feels like we're forcing it to happen. So. The model of leadership and business and success that I teach the women I work with 
um, and we're talking about this in the Freedom of Sexy program right now, is really all about tuning to and aligning with those cycles and phases and rhythms so that you can have more flow in your life and it can feel more free and fulfilling instead of having it feel like hard work or drudgery or whatever. So this morning I met with Stephanie Berg and Hillary Johnson from Hatch Tribe and we are collaborating and planning something really special and really amazing to teach that and some other amazing things that are really going to empower and inspire and just give you some beautiful space to go in with yourself and create some amazing transformation that's coming up early in 2017 so keep an eye out. For those of you women in Charleston or anybody who's looking maybe to come into Charleston for a long weekend or just to travel here it would be fun. So um, more details on that. We haven't decided on a name or all the details quite yet so I don't want to give too much away but I want you to know it's coming um, because it's really really exciting and it's really present and alive within me today so I'm excited about that. I've been feeling so much creative energy today. I don't know if anybody else is in the same boat, but yes, uh, definitely feeling the creative surge, which is amazing because I can remember last week being like, what am I doing in my life? What's going on? Does any of this make sense? Why am I doing it? Does this, what is my mission? I have no idea. And I think it's important that I share that because in the Freedom is Sexy program we were talking about in one of our sister circles that you know we all go through this all the time especially as women I don't know if men do too but that's not my concern at the moment <laughs> um, and we all go through this every single month I said literally every month or maybe every two months it gets really intense and I notice it a lot but we go through these periods of reevaluation and course correction and just changing allowing ourselves to take a wider lens look at our lives and see what things are feeling out of alignment and what needs to be shuffled around and sometimes it's something really really tiny and it's just a small tweak and sometimes it's a big shift that needs to happen but if we didn't have that time where we're questioning or reflecting or just going within and kind of reevaluating essentially we wouldn't be able to make those changes we wouldn't know that they were being called to be created through us and, and that we were being asked to make them in our lives so that things could feel more in flow and in alignment. So anyway, I'm just kind of rambling at this point, but wanted to share that, um, yeah, you have total permission. If you don't feel like doing something in this moment, don't do it, wait, or schedule it, or delegate it, or find a way to make it more fun for you. And I think that's really what life's all about. Um, we have to do certain things but we also get to do a lot of cool things in life if you decide to right and that's really a decision that we each make as individuals but no matter what you're doing you can always make it more fun or make it more joyful or make it more luxurious or beautiful or inspiring or just sensory so I don't know what sensual maybe um, but yeah, like add in beauty. What do you need to do? What are the things this week in Freedom is Sexy? Well, this next two weeks, we're talking about inspired action and results and how to create inspired action and results. And I was thinking about this as I was creating the workbook for the program this past weekend and thinking about, you know, how do we create inspired action? And really, it's about cultivating a specific energy that allows you to feel inspired so that you can take action from that place. And the results you get are often much different than if you didn't follow that process. If you didn't first get the inspiration cultivated and that energy aligned and then go take action from that place, right? The action is infused with a totally different energy and therefore you get a totally different result out of it from taking action. So, um, and I think this is a really key part of it is if you don't feel like doing something, you don't have to do it in this moment. My friend Cara Viana does this really amazing thing that she talked about in one of our interviews together a while back. Um, and she was sharing that what she does when she doesn't feel like doing something is she creates a to-do list for herself and for the universe. So she'll delegate it out to the higher powers and a day will come when she feels naturally inspired to do whatever it is or the universe will kind of take care of it in some way but then it's not 
consuming her mental space and creative energy, right? So really important things to keep in mind. What is consuming your creative energy? What's bogging up your mind and keeping you stuck where you are? And can you release some of that? Can you write it down? Can you get it out? Can you let it go so that you can then create and act from a place of inspiration and create the results you really do want? Um, and I think a lot of that comes from not forcing ourselves to do things that we really don't feel like doing. Um, because then when we do that, what happens is we become resentful or we just give up or we just don't enjoy what we're doing. And the point of life is, we were talking about this earlier today in an interview I did with Courtney Ostrowski for Freedom is Sexy as a guest mentor. And she said that one of the ways that she grew her business in the beginning was just through word of mouth, through meeting people and having genuine positive connections and experiences with people and really just adding value to their lives. And I think that's a really key point for a lot of things is just that our mission in life and our purpose in life is to really just add value, <laughs> like to leave the world or each person we come into contact with better than we found them, right? And for ourselves every day to improve in some way and to grow in some way. And sometimes that can be through an active thing that we actually do or create. And sometimes it can just be being present in life and noticing what's showing up for you and receiving the lessons that are coming to you or being super present in a relationship and noticing what growth is asking or what what is asking you what's a growth opportunity there how are you being asked to grow or expand in that situation or relationship in your life um so yeah just some thoughts for your monday and i hope you're all having a great day um wrapping it up here it's 5 15 so um, enjoy the rest of your evening i'm gonna go to a yoga class tonight at urban flow with chelsea Ferguson, who's amazing. If you haven't taken her class and you're in Charleston, you definitely should. And especially this Monday night class at Urban Flow because it is candlelit and it's finally like the season changed and it's actually dark for the candlelit class. And we have real candles. So I'm very excited for that. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say. Well, I'm always, I probably have more to say. I could just be on here and talk all day, but I won't do that to you because you have things to do and lives to live. So enjoy that. <laughs> I hope you have a beautiful Monday and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.